So here it is, eventually again, I've modified my bike. Um, I was running this air scoop guard, which worked really well, but for off-road, I had dinged it up, so I've repaired it. This guard will be getting now forced air induction, and I will be cutting that off and running two four-inch fans slightly facing back, pushing towards the motor for when I plan on doing um, high-speed runs. Um, but in the meantime, for my average daily basher plate, I made a stainless steel 316 bash guard which you can see comes up nicely protects the bottom of my BAC um, eventually for these two guards I will be making a infill panel there which is slightly fluid out so it sucks air through over the BAC to ensure that stays cool and the battery um, but yeah that's my new stainless steel bash guard rock solid 316 stainless steel mounts onto my custom peg bracket that I've made one piece so it's all rock solid bolt in um, I've made it so there's plenty of airflow to still get through over the motor and there's a nice gap all the way through there so the air can flow over the fins on the bottom and through the top um, yeah hopefully also I made it so close to the motor so when the air brushes past it it cools the sides of the motor that is on both sides because I found the sides of them get really hot as well so yeah I've made it tuck right in so the air brushes off the heat from the motor um, and yeah snuck it right up there and we'll curl it out to protect the bottom of the BAC but that's it, all came together, cool, um, yeah it's probably nearly finished, it gets better every time but it's getting closer and closer now to um, being a complete full on custom bike, especially with the extended swing arm, custom air, well I've made everything, but that's our track there, what we're busy building, the floods, messed it all up for rebuilding it we're going to try and get on it this weekend but um, it's just too wet so we're probably just going to mess around and try and tidy it up get it ready for next week it goes all the way around there up the back got a nice hill climb up there it also goes around the back of the sheds comes out the bottom there and back all the way up and there's a couple of berms and whoops over there and a river jump and bridges and yeah you get it 